I found this bucket of spoons. One night, I just started hot gluing them to the wall. It just felt like the story needed to be quirky. Anyone can have a house that's cataloged pretty, but a home should tell the story, the story of the family that lives there. It's not every day you decide to paint a huge green stripe. I'm Grace Mitchell. These have got to go to make room for this. Uh -huh. And my team and I take boring, outdated homes. When I walk into this space, I don't know anything about you. And we give them personality. Oh my God. <laughs> you got a car on our wall? It's a style. <laughs> and it's all yours. Hey, Grace, how, how are, are you? you guys? So my renovation process is different than most. I don't just meet families one time and do a simple consult. I actually spend days getting to know them, listening to them, hearing their stories. And here's what I've learned about the Tennis family. Trista is a veterinarian, but her real passion is her family, cooking, and gardening. Whee! There you go. <laughs> most of the day, Probably a third of the day, we are outside playing in the sprinkler or picking flowers. It's just so pretty. It's all green and nothing but blue skies and flowers everywhere. What's really interesting about Mark is he comes from one of the founding families of Texas. I grew up in Abilene, Texas. My whole family's been centered there since 1881, roughly. My great-great-grandfather founded Abilene with another gentleman. Unfortunately, none of these great stories can be found anywhere in their house. Now that I know their story, I want to run through my renovation plan. Let's talk about the exterior a little bit. We're going to get you a new roof. We're going to work on your siding out here, work on your front door. Needs some help. It does. Just a little, yeah. OK. Whoa. Let's start here. Your story doesn't start around the corner or in the back of the house. It starts right when you walk in. It needs to be so awesome that they're like, oh my goodness, I want to see more of this house. I want to come in. I want to see what's going on in here. You know, I want to see more. So I want something outstanding for this entryway. All right, let's head to the next room. All right. Okay. If we're able to have an actual dining area, which is what we do every night, we sit at the table, yes. uh, it'd make a big difference with us. Yes. Let's talk about this kitchen. Your front room is huge. Yes. And then your kitchen is teeny tiny. You have hardly any counter space. Yes. Mm -hmm. The sink is rusted. There's one outlet. If we're having parties, I'll bring out surge protectors so we can have the crock pots and then and we the have... And the mixer yep. and everything going at the same time. Oh my gosh, you guys. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Okay, the living room. You've got these awesome vaulted ceilings. I really like those. Well, I think this is a real highlight of your house. And then your fabric here. I mean, I know it's original. Mm -hmm. Is this something that you guys want to keep? No. <laughs> I actually think it could be a really awesome skirt. <laughs> Knock yourself out. We have planned and budgeted $150,000 to remodel the house. For the past five years, we've been saving, eating in, eating out of our lunchbox every day, five days a week. We're just committed to saving money to finish this house. I hope we don't recognize the house when we come back. <laughs> I know Mark and Trista's story, and I know what they're wanting for this house, but I want to walk through one more time and run through this design plan. I'm standing in the entryway. It's just very tight. And so what we're going to do is, is we're going to take out this wall right here. So when you walk in the front door, you can either go this way or you can go this way. This right here is where I want their story to begin. So I'm going to vault the ceiling, remove this wall so they have more room in the entryway. I think I want some sort of family gallery wall, but I'm not sure what it would be made out of. This room is huge. And the problem of having a giant room with no distinct purpose is that it becomes lots of things. It becomes an office. It becomes a coat closet. It becomes a TV room, toy storage, the library. To tell Trista's story in this room, it really needs to be a chef's kitchen. So I'm going to take this wall and completely blow it out 
so I can bring the kitchen cabinetry into their new dining room. And then I want to do a pattern on the ceiling. One thing I know for sure, it's going to be bold and a showstopper. When I'm trying to figure out a client's story, I listen to what they say, but I also look around their house to find little clues as to how they live and what's important to them. This is Trista's meal planning calendar, but it's just so small. I wanna make something for her that will be really functional and useful. This room is the best room in the house right now. It has this awesome vaulted ceiling, which I love. I feel like this living room is the perfect place to bring in some of Mark's story. To lighten up this space, I'm going to paint the ceilings white, add in custom built-ins to the entire back wall, and then accent that with a big Texas map that speaks towards Mark's heritage. Lastly, I need to find some piece of Mark's history to tie this room together. Now, I just need to go find it. This is Mr. Rick, my grumpy contractor. <laughs> That's me. I need you to unclip these carefully. So this is my team. So I've got Mr. Rick, who is really my renovation rock. I've got Mr. Charlie, who is the electrician, and Mr. Craig, who is Rick's son. OK, so this is now our formal living? No. Dining? Yes. OK, so what are we doing exactly? Isn't this screen dining room to you? It's different. <laughs> I ask them to do a lot, and they do it for me. Sometimes grumpily, but they'll still do it. Have you seen the title? I don't know, Gracie. Blue skies, West Texas. Whoosh. After demo, we were waist deep in insulation. <laughs> then we started moving walls, taking away walls, moving several different ceiling heights, took up a few different types of floors, replumbed, did all new electrical, ripped off the rotten roof. And now we're starting the drywall. This last three days have just been like a blur. This house used to feel like a cave. Now, when you walk in, we opened up the walls, so now you can see into the living room. You can walk over here, which used to be the playroom. And we took away this wall, opened this all up, but this is where it gets cool. Because now I can see from the back of this house all the way through the kitchen, into the playroom, family room area, into the backyard. This is such a huge transformation. So obviously, a great cook needs a great kitchen with incredible cabinets. I mean, she seriously had this much of prep space before. I mean, I could lay on this island and take a nap. Remember when we were planning out these cabinets? You guys thought that we should make these glass. And I was like, no, we shouldn't, because she needs more close storage. Well, guess what? I was wrong. What? <laughs> <laughs> I ain't never heard that before. I was wondering if we can fix it. Doors is no problem. Really? Yeah. Doors is no problem. Check. Electrical. Electrical? It's fine. We'll just take a flashlight and tape it in there. We'll be good. <laughs> it's always. A beautiful final product. It's just sometimes it's a bumpy road getting there. <laughs> we can do an LED ribbon, and you do the whole perimeter of the cabinet, and it really lights up the whole inside of the cabinet. That's um, cool. Yeah, you would be real happy with it. The kitchen is well on its way. So now I need to get to work on the big entryway piece. Grace. Yeah. What are you doing? Well, Mark told me about this book, and I found it. Scenes and stories of early West Texas. Mark was telling me that his great-grandfather's brother 
drew these sketches of what their lives looked like in West Texas when they were settling Abilene. So this is his family. That's pretty cool. Cool family oh, history. Okay. Here's my idea. What if we took these sketches and we framed them with trim all the way up and then wrap it around? So when you walk in, it's like their storyboard on the wall. What do you think? That's going to be great. Boom. Yeah. I'm feeling pretty good about the entryway, but now I want to take Trista's love for the Texas outdoors and bring that into her kitchen. So I have some pretty unusual design ideas for Mr. Rick today. For floor, I'm thinking this wood tile with this rustic feel we're trying to bring in. Sure. And right, because right. Trista just wanted a green grass and blue skies kitchen. Right. I'm thinking the cabinets will be this color. So we're kind of merging their stories could, together. Yeah, yeah. Have you seen the tile? It's right there. No, the backsplash tile. No. Green. Green grass, blue skies, West Texas. <laughs> All right. I'm ready. You ready? I'm ready. Yes. I'm dancing. <laughs> She's pumped. I'm pumped. Definitely ready to see our house. Oh, Whoa. my gosh. <laughs>
So I want to take that and make it a bigger part of the house's story. Well, I thought I'd make her a much prettier one so then she can plan out all her meals. Oh, cool. I just went down to the hardware store to get the acrylic, and they even cut it to size for me. And then I had to get these letters printed mirrored. So you adhere them to the back, and they'll show through on the front. I think it looks awesome. I want this in my house. Check it out. The M's crooked. <laughs> Not what I want to hear. Try again. I'm teasing. <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> Today is a special day because it's put the house together day. Stuff is getting done. We are bringing furniture in. We're rolling out rugs. <gasps> Ooh. This Very is wonderful. breathtaking. Yeah, it is. I commissioned a local artist, Kelly Kay, to make these paintings for Trista because they fit so well with an outdoor dining room. We're zhushing, we're fluffing. We're going to make everything beautiful now. Mark and Trista get to come see their house. I'm so excited. In fact, I'm so excited I made something special for the occasion. Are you wearing our curtains? I am wearing <laughs> Oh my God. These are not the best drapes, but they are an awesome <laughs> skirt. <laughs> that is hilarious. All right. I'm ready. You ready? I'm ready. Yes. I'm dancing. <laughs> She's pumped. I'm pumped. Definitely ready to see our house. Oh my <laughs> God. <laughs>. I'm ready. Yes. I'm dancing. <laughs> She's pumped. I'm pumped. Definitely ready to see our house. Oh my <laughs> God. <laughs>the wood parts. I love it. Oh my gosh. Look that at that looks... front door. I am so excited. I want to see more. Let's do it. Oh my god. <laughs>
This area over here, we wanted this to be pretty, but also functional. You can store your plates and cups and bowls in here. Let me lay out the story of this room for you. I really feel like this kitchen speaks to your love of Texas. The floor has the feel of an old barn. The cabinets are pale blue, just like a big Texas sky. And the backsplash is green, just like your beautiful backyard trees. You called the green. I like that. Oh, it's perfect. <laughs> <laughs> I made something for you. Oh, that's perfect. I know. <laughs> it's a little better than the tiny little. Oh, it's a lot better. But I loved your idea. I thought it was really <laughs> cute. I want to show you guys the living room now. Oh, right on. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> Holy cow. <laughs> Windmill fan? Oh, sweet. Man, where did y'all get that? I took a little field trip to your land. And so I found this windmill, and we turned it into a fan. It's super unique. Very nicely done. I like it. Mark, this room is all about you. We added in a lot of that Abilene, West Texas feel. But there's a little bit of Fort Worth here, too. Oh, right on. Oh. Now you have an entire six Whoa, look feet. at that. Whoa. That is really wide. Of openness. Feel the air. Yes. You can look around everywhere in this house, and you can see your story. And that's really what we do. I'm ecstatic. I mean, elated, overjoyed. It's absolutely everything to us. Really awesome. I don't think that, I don't think she could have done a better job. That's awesome.